why Hardy Chupin won't win the 2024 Arnold Classic plus Samson Dowder's mind-blowing physique update. What's up, desktopers? Xavier Wills here for Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are back with a 2024 Arnold Classic video on why Hardy Chupin won't win the 2024 Arnold Classic. Is it Samson Dowder's latest physique update? Is it the progression or regression of Hardy Chupin's physique? I compare his 2019 and 2023 Mr. Olympia versions, or is it political? Is it Hardy Chupin's run-ins that could cost him the 2024 Arnold Classic title. I go into all of that. So let's get into it with Samson Dowder's latest physique update posted on the NPC News Online YouTube channel. And this is in the Pittsburgh Pro Gym, Pittsburgh Gym. Anyway, it's the gym of the NPC and IFB Pro League. And many people go out there to get the critique and get the advice from the likes of Jim Mannion, um, probably Tyler Mannion and the likes there. And Mil Sachev went out there with Samson Dowder. And some of you guys might be saying, is this a mind-blowing physique update? Is it really? Now, I look at this video and I'm really impressed because I've seen previous bodybuilders in this same lighting and I haven't been super impressed. And then they've shown up on stage looking really damn good. And I'm talking guys a week out from a show looking soft in this lighting. So this is the harshest lighting. So if you look good here, you can look good anywhere. And in terms of conditioning... I'd say Samson Dowder looks harder here than I've ever seen him at any other show because I'm seeing little things on his physique, like the hamstrings, that are looking ultra hard in this ultra harsh lighting. So you can see here other bodybuilders. You can see John Del Rosa, obviously a lot further out, like an extra three weeks out than Samson Dowder because this was actually shot, I believe, about six days out of the 2024 Arnold Classic. And you can also see here as well, Akeem Williams, who was, I believe, 32 days out. I'll pop it up on the screen if I do remember as well. And you can see here, they're just so far dramatically off where Samson Dowder is in terms of looking like in this lighting. And both Akeem Williams is looking really, really hard now by his updates. And John De La Rosa is looking inside out shredded, probably the hardest John De La Rosa has ever been. And he looked like this about four weeks out of that 2024 Arnold Classic. So... The fact that Samson Dowder looks like this, his waist appears to be pretty damn tight. His back definitely appears to be improved as well compared to when you see him in the lineups of other pro contests like on the back double bicep. He's just really wowing me because I know how harsh this lighting is. And when I first saw this video went up, I was like, oh, this is going to be brutal. Samson's going to cop a lot. And I didn't even go and look at the comments, but I just know it's probably going to be a little bit too harsh because Samson, in my opinion, looks incredible here because I know how harsh this lighting is. And if you go and turn up the sharpness or whatever on Samson Dowder in this video, he looks dramatically different. Maybe un he's a little bit overexposed in this as well. And for people that do photos and photography and videography, you know what that can do to a physique and completely wash it out and make you look not good, even if you do look pretty damn good. So that's a big reason why I have Hardy Chupin losing the 2024 Arnold Classic. And it sounds so much harder saying losing, but it gets clicks. But <laughs> let's keep going. And Hardy Chupin, 2019 version on the left, 2023 version on the right. Has he progressed or regressed? I believe he's sort of done both because he's in some areas, he's definitely better. And in some areas, he's definitely worse. So looking at his front relaxed pose, the 2019 legs look incredible. The way they go in at the knees and then just pop out. You don't see that on the 2023 version. It just looks cleaner. The muscle looks cleaner and the waist is definitely smaller. Now he's hitting that 2023 version in a crunch down sort of way. But I did see one where he's up a little bit more. But honestly, this was more impressive because it looks so crazy and dense and the abs look wild. But his waist has definitely gotten thicker. That's for sure. But he has added considerable muscle to that upper body, which we'll get to. You look at this front lat spread here, I definitely like the 2019 version more. Even though he is bigger in 2023, I think it just looks so much prettier in 2019. You go to this side tricep shot, you can see the difference there in the hamstrings. Hardy's added a ton to his hamstrings and really worked on the areas that were weaker on his physique. And you can definitely see it and it definitely shows there. There is definitely more thickness on Hardy's physique. Now the back double bicep, this is where 2023 is taking over a little bit. Definitely bigger, a lot bigger in the back, that's for sure. Now, I do like the smaller waist a bit more, and I still like the 2019 version, different lighting, all that. But from the waist down, 2019, from the waist up, 2023. 
Then we go to the rear lat spread. And this is one where I definitely think the 2019 version wins, even though it is smaller marginally overall, but the lats just look better. I don't know. It just looks like a lot prettier physique 2019 versus 2023. You can nitpick and say, yeah, well, the delts are bigger in 2023. The traps are probably thicker. It doesn't really look it in this photo, but sort of a way the back goes down the bottom and how deep that would look in person in 2023. If you got a 3D version, I'm sure it'd be a lot thicker overall, but 2019, far too pretty. And then you go to the most muscular and just prettier. The waist goes in. If you really look in on that 2019 version, you can see the lats pop out. So the waist really goes in there. The quads pop out like crazy. Even from the knees, they pop out and then go into the waist and then got plenty of muscle on that physique for me. Thicker, harder, denser, more like granite in 2023 uh, compared to 2019. But the legs just don't have that same pop. They're more just dense, hard, granite sort of legs. But in 2019, he had the deep lines and cuts. And I think that looked, uh, in my opinion, better. But let me know what you think, 2019 or 2023. Now, I mentioned, could it be political? Because this is something that gets thrown around in YouTube comments. So you guys obviously think about it, discuss it, and think it's a potential thing that happens in bodybuilding and in the past, no doubt, 100%. It's sort of, people know it, you know, 20, 30, 40 years ago or whatever, um, you heard the stories of Arnold Schwarzenegger and, and Sergio Oliva uh, Sr. You hear certain things that sort of went on back then. Now, does it happen now? Some people believe it does. Now, Hardy Chupin obviously won the Mr. Olympia. This was an argument backstage, I believe around 2019. It was between Oxygen Gym from Kuwait's crew and Hardy Chupin. This is actually posted by Muscle and Fitness and had a pretty, uh, uh, what would you say, uh, clickbait sort of headline for that one as well, saying it was a, as a fight. Now, this one was William Bonack and Hardy Chupin on stage and they were bumping elbows. And then Hardy Chupin sort of then proceeds to go and bump in between Brandon Curry. And he, he likes to really bump and knock guys. I don't know if he's doing this as a fun thing and then it gets a bit too serious. But then you go to 2023 and he's knocking over Mikel Crizo on stage, literally while Crizo is hitting a side tricep, like going into the pose. It's not like he just moved there and Hardy got in the way. It was like Hardy was going out to bump Crizo and just knock people out of the way. And then in 2023 as well, he walks off stage. So there's like four indiscretions there uh, in as many years. And I wonder, judges are people too, you know, they're going to sort of see this stuff. And if you see a good looking girl or a good looking guy, and then you know their personality and their personality sucks, you're going to look at them as not being as good looking. That's fact. Now, does this make the judges look at Hardy Chupin and go, eh, maybe he's not as conditioned because they're not a fan of what he's done on stage? Because the IFB, Terry El Gindi on Olympia TV did speak about this and they did not like this. They did not like the action of Hardy Chupin walking off stage. Now, I believe Terek probably even said it's not going to affect his placings and stuff like that, but you know he was sort of told that you know, you don't want to see that on the Mr. Olympia stage, not taking the final photo, walking off when everyone's like, hey, come back, come back, you know, take the photos. And then he just decides to walk off. But anyway, could that come into play? Who knows? Many people in the YouTube comments believe it does come into play. Then many other people believe that no, there's no way it does. They judge it on what they see on stage. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below about that. What do you think of Samson Dowder's latest physique update? And when do you think Hardy Chupin was better? 2019 Mr. Olympia or 2023 and how's he going to look in 2024? But guys, follow all my coverage of the 2024 Arnold Classic here on Desktop Bodybuilding. I've got watch-alongs for Friday morning, which is coming up very, very soon. So make sure you subscribe and click the notification bell button for Friday night, which is the men's open pre-judging and the classic physique finals and also friday morning is classic physique pre-judging and then on saturday night uh columbus time we have the men's open bodybuilding finals and some finals of some other divisions like men's physique and bikini as well so make sure you subscribe i have other videos coming out as well lots of content going up this weekend for that 2024 arnold classic it's arnold classic day let's go let me know all that stuff in the comments below and even let me know your predictions as well Anyway, guys, that's it for me. My name's Xavier Wills. This is Desktop Bodybuilding, and we are out.